Peace of sound. How disturbed, how damaged of a person do you need to be before someone like Deepak Chopra <laughs> starts referring to you in the same way that I, as a, probably like a third grader, would refer to, I don't know, someone who, um, some other third grader back when I was in third grade. I guess you'd have to be pretty disturbed, or your name would have to be Donald Trump. This is Deepak Chopra on with Alan Combs. I'm Alan Combs. Always to welcome, uh, De always happy to welcome Deepak Chopra. Deepak Chopra. Uh, I, I almost feel like you need no introduction. Uh, you <laughs> Uh, you're so well known. More than uh, 80 books translated into 43 languages, numerous New York Times bestsellers. Uh, you're board certified in internal medicine, endocrinology, and metabolism. And uh, you're guru to many, though I know you don't, you shirk from that word. Um, you had a piece out and have a piece out that just was published in the San Francisco Chronicle about the psyche of Donald Trump and the whole explanation of what it is he appeals to. And you mentioned the phrase, the shadow. What is your take on what's going on here? The shadow is that part of ourselves that we are ashamed of, that we feel guilty about. And everyone has a shadow. And if you ignore the shadow, then it says, you're ignoring me, I'm going to embarrass you. Uh, Donald Trump at the moment is in a way representing the shadow of our collective consciousness. He is, um, unfortunately, and you know, I would never say this unless I believe to be 100% true, but he represents the racist, the bigot, the one who's prejudiced, the one who is full of fear and hatred, uh, the one who represents. Uh, emotional retardation of a three-year-old and yet he's so popular because he's given permission to our collective psyche to express their darkest demons now is he all the things you mentioned is he racist is he mentally retarded as you said or is he just someone who rep you say represents that but is he those things i think he is i think he's racist he's bigoted he's prejudiced he's full of fear he uh, is angry he has a lot of hatred he pouts he's belligerent he's emotionally retarded yes <laughs> yeah emotionally said emotionally retarded, not mentally retarded emotionally retarded let me yeah. let me correct myself on that uh, and yet why is it that he appeals to so many and has just about clinched the Republican nomination. He represents the lowest denominator in our collective psyche. He brings out the worst in all of us. Uh, for example, what I said just now, I would never say these things about anybody. Okay, I, I would it's never not say like this. you. Yeah, it's not it's not like me. But he's bringing out the worst in me because I too am fearful of what would happen to the United States of America and the rest of the world if, God forbid, uh, he became the president, if, God forbid, he was in charge of the nuclear weaponry, God forbid, right. he was the commander-in-chief of the largest army in the world. He, right, he yeah. says one thing in the morning, in the afternoon he says exactly the opposite, and in the evening he denies that he said either of those things. In the same sentence. In the same sentence. He will say, so, I, I'm, I'm for free trade, but I think we need to put more tariffs on yeah, China. Yeah, in the yeah, same yeah. sentence. Well, as I said, well, maybe I was too <laughs> kind of kind when I said he's a emotionally retarded. Maybe he's, he's mentally retarded, too. I mean, let me put it this way. When Deepak Chopra calls you mentally retarded, you know you have a problem, ladies and gentlemen. God. There's some other people I'd like to unleash on over the next coming weeks, too, as well. Hillary is not exactly a bright spot in my life, either. This, I mean, that's going to be an opening to a whole new profession for me, Four Eyes. Oh, I like it. Deepak See, Chopra, I just Chopra went, going deep. I just went seamless right it's, there. I've never heard him, to be honest with you, I don't know that I've ever heard him talk before. Uh, I mean, does, it, will he, does he say stuff like that about people ever? 
Um, not I've I've heard him talk before. He's it's funny. He's no, I mean, not that he doesn't talk. That I'm saying that he's, does he I've heard him critique people, but I certainly haven't heard him call anybody a retard before. If that's what you're specifically asking, he's not. He's not said. He's not solved anybody retarded before. Hello, you. I'm Sam Cedar. Looking for smart, progressive talk that is occasionally amusing? Well, subscribe to our YouTube feed. Subscribe to our podcast. Like us on Facebook and just generally enjoy us.